Cilia and flagellum are fine hair-like outgrowths in the cell membrane. Cilia are shorter in length, but more numerous. Cilia? Cilia. There's no picture of me. I prefer colored pictures. Flagellum are longer, but fewer in number. Here's me at the salon. Here's a pic of me after getting my extensions done. I was having a good flagella day. Cilia are small structures that work like oars. They cause movement of the cell or fluid around the cell. Cilia can contract in unison, creating patterns of motion. Whoa, that's up close and impersonal. I like this clip better. Flagellum also move the cell and fluid around it. A human hair is 4,000 times thicker than bacteria flagellum. Size varies, but it can extend up to 10 times the length of the cell. Flagellum moves in a propeller-like motion. Do you need more explanation? It's a little like this. Stationary cilia and epithelial cells protect the respiratory system by sweeping dust and mucus. Think of it like this. With regards to other organelles, cilia and flagellum are organized from centrioles that move the, to the cell periphery. These are called basal bodies and are shown in this electromicograph. Basal bodies control the direction and movement of the cilia. While the movement is very different, structurally our locomotive organelles are identical. Cilia and flagella are comprised of microtubules arranged in a 9 plus 2 format. Nine pairs of microtubules surrounding two complete tubules. They only differ in size. Cilia are shorter and tend to have a wider diameter. Lastly, lack of function of cilia and flagella can cause several problems in human beings, such as respiratory infections, polycystic kidney disease, and fertility issues. And as very little of this presentation was serious, I'm going to end with one last joke.